appears to be a cinder cone over there. Not certain, but something interesting. Well, we got some good light now over here. See the hurricane cliffs. Pretty good now. Just a thought that's occurring to me now, you know, that the, um, let me pan back over. The reason there are no Grand Wash cliffs further back is because they got worn down by the flow. And that little valley there is very interesting. You can almost see the, like the, the streakiness, how it left uh, behind uh, as it went sliding across. But um, yeah, as the debris, the further south, it came to a stop, but the flow kept going over here to the north, south of the mountain I'm on, to the north of the cliffs. And it just washed over the tops and down and wore them down. And so that's why there are no cliffs back here. They kind of gradually meld into the uh, landscape precisely because of the flow that was going over the top and down through the wash. And the reason you got the wash there, because the Virgin Mountains stop at Lake Mead and the other northern Arizona mountains, I'm not sure which range it is, but the ones that hold the sediment, where the sediment backed up uh, on the south side of the Colorado River, uh, that's the only place the, the water could get out from underneath. So you had all this sediment and all this flow coming from the Grand Wash. It all went out that uh, the only place it could. Now a lot of it did uh, flow over the tops of those ranges and that's a point for another discussion. But um, you know, that was the, the open gap, if you will. And when it all came to a stop, that was the low point and the water started flowing out from underneath and uh, undercutting the cliffs further in the distance. And as it undercut, the material above had no support, so it collapsed. 
and as more collapse it gets washed away by the river and the more gets undercut and more collapses and more gets undercut collapse wash away cut collapse wash away like a domino working its way backwards to the east and snaking along the path of least resistance and upside canyons and tributaries the whole deal um like like i said the one like one of them domino maze just the water kept coming out from below and as it did washed away material and sooner or later the the material above has no support and it collapses like a sinkhole and it worked its way backwards and left and right and that's another reason why you don't have uh, waterfalls in the Grand Canyon they all all the side canyons and tributaries meet at the river level so all these canyons that didn't have the flow of the Colorado all meet at the same level which is very telling um, otherwise you'd expect that uh, the, that the there would be waterfalls you know the side canyon could only cut down so far and then there'd be a step to the river now um, the other possibility is that material is very soft but if uh, we're to believe that you know all these sediments got laid down over millions of years they would have had time to firm up and so they shouldn't have been able to cut down as far as the Colorado did but that's my, my theory is that it all got laid down same time you know, all these timelines and different things you know people see things they want to see they want to prove their uh, assumptions and uh, I can't say I, I'm not doing the same thing but um, I don't think so looking at it just look at the evidence and don't put yourself in anybody else's box okay